Never Stop Learning, week 195. We're gonna take a quick look at Create Outlines in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. Now, you're gonna use Create Outlines if you're gonna send off your artwork to commercial printers, maybe some plotters, or maybe you just don't want anybody making any edits to it. You could also use this creatively to make your text look a lot cooler. So let's see what we're talking about. I'm gonna hit the T key on my keyboard to bring up the Type tool, and I'm gonna click once right here in the center of my document. With the cap locks turned on, I'm just gonna type in some basic words. You can follow along with me or type in whatever text you want. All right, so I'm gonna type in create outline. All right, command enter or return on my keyboard to go ahead and accept that change. Get rid of the caps lock. Now I need my text to be a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna hit command shift greater than or the period key on my keyboard. And once I get it to the right size, I'm looking at the justification and it's set to left justified. So let's switch that to center. I'm gonna hit Command Shift C for center and we're good to go. Now I wanna change the font. So I'm gonna hit Command T. That's gonna bring up my character panel. In here, I'm gonna switch it over to impact because it's a pretty common font. Hopefully you have it on your machine. There you go. So now we have this uh, text laid out right here in impact. Now, if we were already ready to send this off to print, or if we wanted to get some more creative looks with our text here, we would go ahead and create this to outlines. But before uh, converting it to outlines, what you might wanna do in your workflow is come over here to the file menu and do a save as. And in the name for your save as file, uh, you're gonna wanna include something like outlined or converted, just so that you know that the live font is not gonna be in this file. A different workflow would be coming over here to the layers panel and then just making a copy of this layer now this bottom layer, you can name it whatever you want. So maybe you can name it impact, like the name of the font, or maybe just live text or something like that. Then you would hide this one. At least that way you'll have it somewhere uh, in your document for future use. Now over here, you could name this guy outlined or whatever you want, just to kind of make a note for yourself. All right, so how do we actually create these outlines? Uh, while you have your artwork selected, you wanna come over here to the top, you're gonna find the type menu. Now you scroll through, until you find uh, create outlines. There's also a keyboard shortcut there for command shift O. All right, so I'm gonna hit escape to get out of that. Another way to do it is by right clicking on the text and then choosing create outlines. But the best practice for this is while you have your text selected, you wanna hit command shift O. All right, so O for outlines, remember that. All right, so now that we have this guy set up, we can make whatever changes we need. Illustrator is now looking at this as just shapes. Even though our eye is looking at this as text, it's not live type anymore. This is now just anchor points and paths. So if I switch over to outline mode, you're able to see the structure of this. All right, so back in preview mode, uh, if I notice that maybe I need to make a change, like right here I see that I, I put create outline rather than outlines. So I'm gonna hit the T key on my keyboard to grab the type tool. And if I wanted to continue on this word right here where it says outlines, I don't actually get that cursor and I would have to actually start typing in some new letters in there. All right, so another way would be just deleting this layer, going back to my live text right in here, T for the type tool, and right here at the end, I could go ahead and make the edit that I need. All right, cool, so I got this guy set up in here. And now let's uh, create outlines by hitting Command Shift O for outline. All right, and at this point, I could send this off to my printer and that's gonna ensure that they see it the exact same way I'm seeing it right here on my artboard. Now, we also talked about getting kind of creative when you're using uh, Create Outlines. So let me show you how we would do that. I'm gonna make my text a little bit bigger. And right here, I'm gonna start playing around with the L. What I'm gonna do is hit the A key on my keyboard to activate the direct selection tool. And that's gonna allow me to make some cool edits in here. So right now I'm just grabbing those top two anchor points, holding down the shift key, and using the up arrow key to kind of move those guys along. All right, I'm gonna do that again over here on the bottom part of the L. All right, shift, I'm hitting the arrow key for down right now. Next I wanna target these two anchor points on the right, shift and then right arrow a couple times until I get to the edge of this E right here. All right, we can continue to play around with this some more, so I'm gonna grab the bottom portion of the T right here. And then I could grab this whole group right over here by just clicking and dragging, selecting that entire range. And there we go. So I'm able to edit this entire letter right here really quickly. Now we're not limited to just working with one letter at a time. These are just shapes. So we could just grab a range of anchor points right in here. And then shift, 
with your arrows and you're good to go. All right, so you can continue to play with this as much as you want. Once you're ready to send this off, you're gonna to wanna to do a save or save as, and you'll ensure that your printer is gonna see it just like this. Now, what happens if you send something off as live type? Let's see what they would see on their end, all right? So I'm gonna come over here to the file menu, scroll down until I find open recent files, and I'm gonna open up this file that I was working on, Sows Your Face. So I'm working on a t-shirt design, and the text is gonna say, Sows Your Face. Now I was actually on a different machine earlier. I brought it to this machine now, and I'm getting this warning saying that the yard sale font is missing. If I try to sync it up, it's gonna tell me that it's not available because I didn't grab it from Typekit. All right, so the only thing I could do right now is hit close to get out of that. And let's take a look. On the left, we're seeing the outlined text. So this is how the text was intended for my t-shirt design. Over on the right, it's the same text, same font and everything, but because it's live text and I don't have the yard sale font on my machine, we're actually getting this uh, default preview and it's showing us Myriad Pro. So with my selection tool, let's uh, kind of work around this a little bit. On the upper left, I'm grabbing the Soldier Face outlined text. And if I go to Command Y to check it out in outline mode, you see it's just a bunch of paths and anchor points making up my artwork. Same deal right here where it says outline text. I went ahead and uh, converted that to outline as well. Now over on the right, it looks a little bit different, even though it's the exact same information. All right, and that's because we're missing that font. So back into preview mode. Uh, what about this live text over here on the bottom right? When I click on it, I could actually make some changes to this. So uh, live text uh, mode, just to make a quick edit. All right, now why are we able to make that change here and we're able to see it as it's intended? Well, if I uh, come over here and tuck this guy away, Command T to bring up the character panel, it's showing us that we actually had microgramma on both machines. So the workflow is working out perfect for us right in here. If I select this artwork here, it says shows your face and it's all in pink right here. It's actually showing me Myriad Pro because that's the default, but check it out over here in the characters panel. It says that Yard Sale is the intended font and there's a little symbol just to the right of that. And that symbol is telling me that I do not have that font on my machine. So it's a little bit of a warning telling me that this is not what the text is supposed to look like. And that's why you see this pinkish reddish um, highlight around your text as well, kind of like a warning for your printer. All right, so you're really gonna wanna convert to outlines when you send things off to your commercial printer or if you wanna create uh, something more creative with your text. Now, if you wanna package this up so that you have the live uh, text in there and the font so you can work on it on a different machine later and be able to edit all your text, you're gonna to wanna to come over here to the file menu, scroll down until you find package. There's even a keyboard shortcut for that. Now this feature is only available in, I believe the Creative Cloud, and we'll talk about that in a separate video. And there you have it folks, that's Create Outlines in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.